What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is the locker room, week one of the sixth season of the GBA. For those of you who are new to the channel, for those of you who are new to Giante's fandom, for those of you who are new to the GBA, welcome. This is kind of this is my pregame show. That's what the locker room is. Here is where you will see me going over all of the sets that I intend to bring for my matchup against my opponent. This week's matchup is against the New York Metapods, and that is Dan, AKA A-Drive, our current, uh, I get, or do you call it former? It was last season, season five champion, current champion, I guess reigning champion. Either way, you guys know who I'm talking about. This is A-Drive here. He's a, an amazing battler, our current champion. He's been to so many, so many playoffs in his respective leagues. And uh, he's an intimidating opponent. In our last matchup, I did manage to get a victory against him uh, that almost knocked him out of the playoffs until I lost my very last game of the season. And he won his in just the right margin that he uh, <laughs> he took the playoffs by winning, beating me over differential. So that's uh, spoilers for the end of last season if you guys hadn't watched it so maybe I should put a spoiler tag I'm not gonna uh, if I just spoiled last season for you guys I, I am very truly sorry but we're gonna go over the team that uh, I'm intending to bring against the Metapods here on the left you'll see my full roster and on the right you'll see the Metapods full roster so I'm rocking Entei, Manaphy, Cresselia, Zapdos, Nidoking, Mega Absol, Miltank, Chestnut, Miss Magius, Ditto, and Reggie Rock. And on the right, I have ordered the New York Metapods 11 in kind of a. It's sort of how I anticipate the likelihood that he'll bring any given Pokemon. He's got Rotom Wash, Mega Altaria, Victini, Chansey, Ferrothorn, Hitmontop, Flygon, Galvantula, Dragology. Gorgeist and Metacham. Man, I had a stroke in the middle of that. Okay, so um, I think the most likely thing that he's going to bring this week is the Rotom Wash, the Mega Altaria, the Victini, the Chansey, the Ferrothorn, and one of the following three. Hitmontop, Flygon, and or Galvantula. So essentially, I'm not anticipating him to bring the bottom three any of the bottom three and I'm anticipating probably one but maybe if, if he's feeling ballsy two of the of the row right immediately above that so looking at that I built the following team to prepare me for this a team of Cresselia who I am nicknaming DDG, that's Duck Duck Goose, and I'm never going to tell you guys that again. So if at the end of the season, someone who's new to the channel, or maybe a bandwagoner if I'm winning, I don't know, uh, hops on and is like, what does DDG stand for? You guys will know it stands for Duck Duck Goose, but from now on, all I'm ever saying is DDG when I talk about Cresselia. He's DDG. Uh, Decisions the Entei, Prince the Nitto King, absolutely the Mega Absol Remix, and Zap Zap. That's Zap Dose in Spanish, guys. <laughs> Two Zaps, Zap Zap. Anyway, uh, that's the six that I'm bringing. Uh, maybe I should update this so I don't forget to do it in the game. At game time, so I'm not bringing Manaphy. I'm not bringing Miltank, Miss Magius, or Reggie Rock, or Chestnut. Right? Two, four, six. Yeah, that's right. So, let me explain my sets a little bit here. I'll kind of go through all of them with you guys. Cresselia I'm bringing, obviously, because she is a very dependable wall. She's going to be a great answer to a lot of the offensive threats on the Metapods. Um, there are some other thoughts, alternative Pokemon, that I will talk about in a little bit about that may have affected the sets of what I have here, um, but I don't want to get too much into that until I've talked about the team that I have first. So Cresselia is running Leftovers, uh, obviously it's a levitating Pokemon, it's got Moonblast, Hidden Power Fire, Calm Mind, and Moonlight. Now, the reason for this is Cresselia doesn't really do too much to a lot of the members of his team, so it's a great switch into some of his offensive threats, but defensively, I don't want to give him too many free turns, and that's why I have the Calm Mind. By setting up a Calm Mind, I'm able to two-hit KO Ferrothorn with Hidden Power Fire, even if it's max specially defensive, which I don't anticipate it would be, but it could be. So I set up one Calm Mind on a 
on a ferrothorn while it maybe, I don't know, leech seeds me, maybe toxics me. And it'll think I won't have anything for it. Typically, Cresselia is running Moon Blasts, maybe uh, Psy Shock or Psychic, uh, the rare Shadow Ball, something like that. Um, but I don't imagine he would expect me to have a Hidden Power Fire, and I can really take advantage of that to weaken the Ferrothorn. The Ferrothorn otherwise can give my team problems. It, it's one of those Pokemon that if you don't have something for it, you can't beat it. Uh, so, obviously I do have some Pokemon for it, but smart switching around that, that's where you get an advantage in the League format. So I have to take away his feeling of safety against some of these Pokemon. So that's the point of the Cresselia set. It's running max HP, max defense. Another reason for that is for the Victini, who can otherwise wreck shop on my team with the V-Create. Um, Cresselia can switch in, survive a V-Create from a Choice Bandit Adamant Victini, and then proceed to Moonlight repeatedly against it. Um, while it continues to get slow, I will outspeed it after one V-Create. I'll outspeed it and be able to recover off that damage with Moonlight, and that will be that. So, that's the idea for the Cresselia. Set up a Calm Mind if I can. Of course, it does absolutely nothing to the Chansey, but I'll get there. It doesn't need to. So, moving on, we've got Decisions the Entei returning for his first match here. He's running a very standard set. Choice Band, Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed, Stone Edge, and Iron Head. The Sacred Fire is obvious. I click that if I see it making the most sense. He doesn't have a, a good check anymore, or his check will die to two of them. Something like that. Extreme Speed, just so I have the potential for a late game sweep or counter sweep, or to stop a setup sweeper by hitting him with a Choice Banded E Speed. We've got Stone Edge, which is the best move of choice for a Rotom if he's opting to run a physically defensive Rotom to try and counter decisions. If he's not a physically defensive Rotom, Stone Head will two hit KO. Um, also, if he's not, if he's more of an offensive, like max speed, max attack Rotom, the Sacred Fire will actually two hit KO him also. So uh, I gotta read that situation a little bit. The Iron Head is for the most damage that I can hit. Mega Altaria 4 outside of running Iron Tail, which is stronger, but very inaccurate, and I don't like running that. I, I already don't like having to run Stone Edge, to be honest, but boys gotta do what a boys gotta do. Uh, he's running a Adamant set, uh, Shiny, because he has to be Adamant and Shiny if you want Extreme Speed and Sacred Fire on him. Moving on, we got Prince. Ah, oh, Nitto King. I'm gonna have some fun with you, Nitto King. Nitto King's running a... Um, a jolly physical set this week. Uh, he's got a Life Orb Sheer Force running Fire Punch, Poison Jab, Focus Punch, and Sucker Punch. Now, some changes have been made to the team since I originally um, put Prince on there, and by making some of those moves, I decided Nitto King's best set is to be physical this week. The reason for that is while I do have a plan for this week, a, a way to try and win. Prince is kind of a little bit of a failsafe and also a little bit of a mid-game punisher for me. So Fire Punch is there because it hits super effective on the Galvantula, on the Gorgeist, and the Ferrothorn, who otherwise pretty much walls this thing. Uh, the Poison Jab is for Stab. It's a great answer to kill the Mega Altaria. The Focus Punch is any time I predict a switch, um, and... Preferably, if he hasn't already seen that Nitto King is physical. And I think I'm going to bait in the Chansey with Nitto King's presence. I click Focus Punch because it'll knock that thing right out of the park. And then Sucker Punch is there to outspeed some of the uh, faster threats and try and get as much damage off on them as possible. I was considering running Stealth Rock. I was considering running uh, Toxic Spikes. But... It, too many of his Pokemon levitate or fly, and I or have poison, and so I, I don't know that I that I thought Toxic Spikes was right. And I think if I'm predicting a switch and will be able to get off the Stealth Rocks, I would be better off hitting Focus Punch. So uh, that's what Focus Punch is there for. I got to find a way to navigate Prince into the fray in a good manner. 
Next we have absolutely the Mega Absol. Uh, Mega Absol is running Justified and his moveset is Knock Off, Sucker Punch, Play Rough, and Swords Dance. Now Mega Absol has gone through a lot of iterations since I started looking at how to build this team. Uh, originally I had Flamethrower on there to do as much as I could to the Ferrothorn, but then I was going to have to run a decent amount of special attack investment and it's just for Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn might not even come because a lot of my Pokemon do actually threaten it because fire is kind of rampant on my team. I have a lot of access to fire coverage and a really strong fire type who basically gets a free switch into it anytime he wants to. So I was looking at that and I just thought, I don't know that I really want a special coverage here. And if I'm not in applying any special coverage, and I don't really need Ice Beam because Ice Beam would really just be for uh, the Flygon, maybe the Gorgeist. And in theory for the Mega Altaria, except that Play Rough would hit it harder anyway because it hits it on its weaker defensive side as well as on my more powerful offensive side. So I thought, let's not go there. Superpower is something I'm still not 100% sure that I don't want on there. No, you know what? It, it's it's right to not have it on there. Here's the reason for the set and why I finally made the changes. I'm not 100% on these changes, but I am 100% on the idea. The idea is predict Chansey to come in and on that turn, try and double into Absol. So Absol comes in against Chansey. Uh, there's a lot of his team that has a speed tier that threatens to hit Mega Absol before he Mega Evolves. And because Absol is actually only base 75 speed prior to Mega Evolution, so he's pretty slow. Once he does Mega Evolve, he's 115 and outspeeds his whole team. However, I did not opt to run um, max speed in order to outspeed the Galvantula because if I'm being honest with myself, I don't predict he's going to come. And if he does, the Sucker Punch will outpace him and will bring him down to his Focus Sash. So... Uh, if he has one, he'll probably bring Focus Sash Galvantula. So knock off as my primary stab, so I ease the prediction ne necessitated by the Sucker Punch. Uh, Play Rough is there to hit any of his dragons. You might notice he's got a lot of dragons, and I have no dragon resist. I don't have a fairy, I don't have a steel type, but I don't really need to worry too much about that because Cresselia can handle a majority of the dragons and if something dies, then Ditto comes in and now I'm a dragon. So, so oh, I love Ditto. So, I, I'm not too worried about the potential for dragon spam here, especially because if you're looking at it, you've got a Flygon who's offensively not all that up to, up to snuff. Um, you've got a Mega Altaria who doesn't even play like a dragon, plays like a fairy type. And then Dragalge who can't break Cresselia. So not super worried about that element of things, but I need to play rough because otherwise uh, the Mega Altario will wall this set. The Swords Dance is there because this is the plan. This is my win condition. Get Absol in on the turn that Chansey comes in and set up a Swords Dance as it either I don't know, tries to seismic toss me, goes for a wish, just scout or soft boil to heal up, or maybe he'll, no, he's not going to go for stealth rocks if I'm about to make it evolve on his face. Um, my prediction is that he'll switch out, but that's all it'll take, because a plus two mega absol decimates this man's team. Um, his best option once I do that is if he has a full health Ferrothorn, which is why I'm going to have to sit on the absol until Ferrothorn gets weakened a little bit. And uh, the only other option really that I'm seeing is if Galvantula has a Focus Sash, he sacks a Pokemon, brings in Galvantula, and then can Bug Buzz and kill me as I only bring it down to its Sash. So I got to kind of prepare for that, see how he plays around that, um, and predict whether or not I'm going to need to switch out and after i've already revealed the swords dance but it it really does there's very few pokemon that can stand up to absol once he's got that swords dance off pretty much as long if if it's at full health the best shot out there is rotom wash and ferrothorn but they're not going to do great once i get the swords dance up one way or the other and uh only an attack invested ferrothorn can one hit ko me with the gyro ball the rotom probably can't 
uh, unless it's like a specs variety, but I'll outspeed it anyway. If it, and if it doesn't have the defensive investment, it will probably die to a knockoff. So that's my goal this week, guys. That is the plan. It is plan absolutely. And we are going to try and pull that one off. That's going to be for the win. But in order to get Absol in there, because he is a very particular Pokemon. He's a he's a Pokemon of very particular tastes. And we've got to bring in uh, Remix to try and help facilitate this. Remix is back and... Um, yeah, pretty standard set with Transform, Imposter, and giving him a Choice Scarf. Um, looking at Remix, he's really here to pressure the Mega Altaria, because Mega Altaria can be really threatening if it sets up a Dragon Dance. So I'm going to want to bring in Ditto against him, um, either after I sack a Pokemon to that Dragon Dance, or I predict a Roost or something. Cresselia is my primary switch into Mega Altaria, because if Mega Altaria is running, say, a substitute set or something like that, I don't want to really mess up Ditto switching in when he's behind a sub and not being able to um, evolve into into the Mega Altaria. So I really need to play it smart, especially if he hasn't Mega Evolved yet. I can't switch straight in, and it wouldn't be a wise idea to do that anyway. So I'm going to bring in Cress on that, and after a Dragon Dance, I should be able to survive two returns and kind of pop off a couple of um, moon blasts on him, and if I get him down to a range where it seems likely that he's going to roost, then I can bring in Ditto on that turn, be the Mega Altaria, and at plus one Mega Altaria really hurts his team also, outside of if he brings Ferrothorn. So, that's the idea with Remix. He's also a pretty good safe switch in to a lot of other Pokemon, like, um, it's not a bad switch in to a Victini. Because uh, it, it allows me to net a little bit of momentum there. I can scout the sets on his defensive Pokemon very easily because Ditto replicates defensive sets very well also. My final Pokemon is Zap Zap. And uh, I'm going to be running Leftovers. He's running Ability Pressure and he's going to have Volt Switch, Heat Wave, Roost, and Defog running a Max HP Max Special Defense set. The reason for this is to be my primary switch into Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash does not threaten Zap Zap at all. I could threaten him out with a two-hit KO potential from Thunderbolt, but I'm not bringing Thunderbolt. I'm bringing Volt Switch, Heat Wave, Roost, and Defog. The, the Heat Wave is something I've gone through several iterations for all, so I was considering Toxic. Uh, and I was considering Hidden Power Ice. Uh, the Hidden Power Ice because it would hit the Mega Altaria and the Flygon for the most damage that I can put out. Um, but I think I want the additional fire type coverage. Uh, this thing is absolutely walled by Chansey. However, Chansey can't really do anything back outside of maybe toxicing me. And this is my Defogger, so I gotta keep him healthy and do my best to bring him in on beneficial situations. He is a really good answer to Galvantula. Really, really good answer to Galvantula. So that's the purpose of Zapdos this week. Now let's talk about the Pokemon who didn't come. Uh, Miltank. Miltank is, was drafted not primarily for this reason, but as a very good answer to very offensive fire types because of thick fat and his good defensive bulk so he can survive a two hit ko from a victini's v create and after the first v create will outspeed him and be able to milk drink off all of that damage and potentially hit him back really hard with um, a body slam on his reduced defenses so miltank's a great answer there the highest amount of damage that Victini can even do to a Miltank is with Bolt Strike, not with V Create, and even that's not a two-hit KO. Oh, I'm sorry, Brick Break is the, is the second strongest, but again, not a two-hit KO. So, Miltank would be a really good answer, and on the Miltank set that I had originally brought, I was bringing Stealth Rock, Milk Drink, Body Slam, and Heal Bell, and I opted to switch him out in lieu of Zapdos. And the reason for that is Remix was originally going to be my defogger. I'd bring him in against Flygon uh, because Flygon, if we're being honest, rarely actually clicks its Dragon type move. It's uh, it's usually got, say, Roost, U-Turn. It'll probably have Outrage um, and Earthquake. And, you know, offensively, it's not super powerful. So usually what it likes to do is defog if it needs to, keep itself healthy, and then just U-turn out of there. So 
I was thinking like Remix would be able to switch in on that. I'd be able to get off my own defogs. I'd be able to U-turn for momentum, but I don't like doing that because if my opponent were to sack their uh, their Flygon, then that wouldn't really work. Uh, same is true for the Hitmontop. Hitmontop, I think, is a less likely bring unless he is intending to hazard stack me because Hitmontop's rapid spin is great, but as a Pokemon, it's not all that powerful. Um, especially given that Remix could easily switch in on him, Hitmontop's health is atrocious, so I would actually probably have higher health with Remix, and I'd be able to get the Intimidate off on him, not have it back on return on me, and then I'd be able to kind of either rapid spin away my own hazards, etc, etc. I still have that option, but ultimately I figured Cresselia will be able to be an answer for the Victini. Uh, a lot of my other Pokemon can take out Victini, Absol being a really good um, example of that because he'll be able to absolutely wreck shop with his dark type stab against him and he outspeeds him. So uh, unless he's a choice scarf variety in which case he can't two hit KO Cresselia and there's a chance he can't two hit KO decisions either. So the set of Victini he brings dictates whether or not I needed the mill tank more than I think the value of Miltank as far as answering the rest of his team. The Heal Bell would be nice. The Heal Bell would be really nice. It's always nice to have a Cleric there. And the Stealth Rocks would be nice. But at the time that I pulled him, I said, if I really want the Stealth Rocks, I can put them on Prince. And uh, really, he's just kind of being there as a backup defensive Pokemon to be used pretty much only in the case of Victini. So I didn't want to bring him for that reason. I know Zap Zap is way more universally powerful and can net me momentum with the Volt Switch. So I think all in all, that's gonna be way more valuable. Looking at the team going down the list, uh, my answer to Rotom Wash is a Zap Zap is a switch in and he is gonna get either beat by my Absol by getting whittled down by Prince or two hit KO'd by the Stone Edge after a little bit of prior damage from Decisions. The Mega Altaria, either a ditto switch in, Absol once it gets to plus two with the play rough, Prince with the poison jab offensively, defensively, Cresselia, Victini um, answered by Decisions, Remix, and Cresselia based on my prediction of what move he wants to go for. The Chansey I, is my... Basically, his Chansey is one of my win conditions, and I'm pretty, I think it's pretty likely that he'll bring it. I'm also going to be on the lookout for a counter Chansey, because I know that Dan has done that in the past and really does like that set. Ferrothorn, I've got fire on like 50% of these Pokemon. The ones that don't have it will set up on them on the Ferrothorn and try and uh, get an answer that way. But Zap Zap is one of the ideal candidates as a switch in against the Ferrothorn. The Hitmon Top literally anything except Absol. It doesn't even really matter. Flygon, probably Zap Zap Remix or or Cresselia. The Galvantula, Zap Zap. The Dragology, Zap Zap or Cresselia. The the Gorgeist. A lot of my Pokemon threaten it. I really don't think Gorgeist is coming. Decisions has super effective stab for it. Prince uh, oh no, because he's ghost type. It's not super effective with the poison jab, but still can really threaten it. The Absol has super effective stab for it, uh, and the Zap Zap has super effective coverage for it, so not that. And the Metachem, an interesting pick, but not against my team, and it will be absolutely walled to heck and back by my Cresselia set because it doesn't learn a shadow type or a dark type or a ghost type move that can really threaten me out or a bug type move i think outside of hidden power so that is my team guys thank you for watching locker room episode one be on the lookout for my battle against dan aka a drive and the new york met uh, pods tomorrow as always my name is Jim leader geo you guys are the challengers thanks for stopping by and i'll see you guys next time